This will just be a quick demonstration of where I am on the space game I've been working on. Uh, I've got some new graphics for the star in the background here. The space station is still untextured. Um, the starship is uh, uh, still in progress here, but I'm making some progress on engine textures. This is a big radiator on the back here. Um, and I've done some work with the warp effects. So right now I'm going to uh, increase speed to maneuvering speed here. So this will be like combat speed. Um, and then when it's time to go to warp, I'm going to go to warp now. And you can see we've got some warp effects here as you throttle up and we're moving much faster. Um, the world is infinite, so I can fly in any direction as far as I want to. I'm using like a shifting origin uh, setup so that I can go forever. Um, the stars and planets are all generated from this map here. So we've got multiple star systems and I have arranged this into a grid of a galaxy map where you can choose a location, zoom in on that location and see the stars in that area uh, anywhere on the map and get a preview of the system here in this preview window. Um, let's see what else have I got. I've also got, uh, I'm going to go ahead and warp to that planet here. Let me slow down, come around. Or up to that planet. Now, right now, the sun lighting is affecting the planets, but it's not affecting the player ship here. Um, that is not affected by lighting yet. I've got to set that up. But uh, here's a closer view of one of the planets here. And these are all customizable. They're random, uh, random or procedurally generated. They can have climates. They can have different types. This is a desert planet with some uh, frozen areas in the top and or in the north and south. Um, I've got Earth-like planets, a lot of different planets. Um, and the warp effects, brand new. I'm really happy with the warp effects. I think that's going well. And the last thing I'm going to show is we can go inside the ship and walk around, have a look out the windows, and I can take over the ship and fly it here in first person. I'm going to go towards this star here, back towards the planet. Um, you can fly that in first person, you can walk around. Uh, and then go back outside the ship. I've got a camera that's like an orbit camera, similar to what they have in Star Trek Online. So I can look around that way. So it's coming along. It's coming along. Oh, and this is the uh, system map, so you can have a look at the system you're in. You can select a target and fly to it here from the system map also. That's it. I'll keep you posted.